Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Tuesday uh, morning devotion. I'm trying out some uh, new technology uh, that has been graciously gifted to me and to the church. So uh, uh, hopefully this will work well today. I hope this finds you doing well today. Uh, we're in the sanctuary again, and the lovely Sharon Werner has graciously uh, joined us again as we'll be singing uh, a hymn, hymn 476 in just a few minutes. Um, we'll do verses 1, 3, and 5 uh, for that. But let's begin this morning with, again, page 295, the order uh, of daily prayer for the morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. In the morning, O oh Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O oh Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. So we continue with our hymn um, as as Sharon shared, it is a very Lutheran hymn. Uh, it is a hymn designated for the season of Easter, uh, focusing on our gospel reading for this coming Sunday, which is the uh, road to Emmaus conversation between the resurrected Christ and the two disciples. So we'll sing hymn 456. We'll sing verses 1, 3, and 5. You said 456. Oh, 4, Yes, thank you. She corrected me. 476 uh, verses 1, 3, and 5. Your 
there's an Easter hymn you're probably not used to hearing sung. Again, like Sharon said, I don't think the tune is necessarily as joyous uh, as we would expect for Easter, the Easter season, but certainly the words are. Our reading for this uh, uh, today's devotion is the uh, psalm reading appointed for this coming Sunday, which is Psalm 116. Uh, specifically for this Sunday, it's verses 1 through 14. Uh, the psalm goes through verse 19, so I think I'll include all of it for us today. I love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my pleas for mercy, because he inclined his ear to me, Therefore, I will call on him as long as I live. The snares of death encompassed me. The pangs of Sheol laid hold on me. I suffered distress and anguish. Then I called on the name of the Lord. O Lord, I pray, deliver my soul. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Our God is merciful. The Lord preserves the simple. When I was brought low, he saved me. Return, O oh, my soul, to your rest, for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. For you have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I believe even when I spoke, I am greatly afflicted. I said in my alarm, all mankind are liars. What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious is in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your maidservant. You have loosed my bonds. I will offer to you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the Lord's house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. For those who are familiar with our liturgical worship, you'll certainly recognize many of those verses as verses we sing on a regular basis in the context of worship. Beautiful uh, words in response to God's grace and mercy to us and in how in thanksgiving and praise to God, not to earn his favor, but in response to the favor he has shown us, asking how can we serve you? How can we bring honor and praise to you? Uh, also, a couple of other things to note, if you've ever heard of the uh, church father Augustine, uh, from this psalm comes a very uh, well-known quote of his, verse 7, which reads, Return, O my soul, to your rest, for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you, comes Augustine's quote, My soul is restless until it finds its rest in you. Certainly, we know in good days when we chase after all of the latest and greatest things to, to give us peace and make us happy, ultimately we do discover when all those things are taken away from us that true rest comes from being in a right relationship with God, having his forgiveness and mercy, being righteous before God. And so we give thanks and praise that it's in Christ and Christ alone that we find that peace and that rest. I find it interesting too, it talks about how the snares of death encompassed me, the pangs of Sheol, uh, which we might think of in terms of hell, laid hold on me, I suffered distress and anguish. And Boy, how often, especially these days, do those words resonate with us uh, in terms of being truly fearful of a, a pandemic uh, that across the gro globe is, is taking lives, a, a pandemic, a disease that we're still struggling to find answers and cures and antidotes for. But then the psalmist continues, Then I called on the name of the Lord. O Lord, I pray, deliver 
my soul. And then again, you see in that, this pointing to true rest. The psalm doesn't, psalmist doesn't talk about the, the body, but the soul finding rest. And believer or unbeliever, whether it's now or decades from now, our body will cease to function. And at least in this world, we will die. But in Christ, we know that our soul will find its rest with him for all eternity. That death of the soul, that greater death is what Jesus Christ suffered on the cross in our place so that you and I will never have to suffer that kind of torment and suffering. So we do pray to God that he deliver us this day, body and soul, as our Savior, as he who forgives us. Let's continue with confessing our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And we continue praying together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Please again join with me your hearts in prayer. Heavenly Father, as we come before you this day, we are thankful for the day that you have granted us a day that is new, that is a gift given from you, not only to experience your love and grace and forgiveness, but a day given to us to love you and love our neighbor. We remember and continue to pray for all of those uh, that are in the front lines, whether it be in hospitals or medical facilities, researchers, government leaders, or first responders, uh, those who are working in essential businesses Uh, especially where they encounter lots of people. We thank you, Lord, for their willing service and sacrifice and ask that you would protect them, guide them, and strengthen them. For the many that are at home, especially those who are truly uh, experiencing the loneliness of isolation, we pray, Lord, that you would lift their spirits, that you would help them to know, as you told your disciples that you are with us always, even to the end of the age. Lord, now hear us as we continue our prayers. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end, that our doings may be preserved from sin and our life sanctified, and our work this day be well-pleasing to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I thank you, my heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body, soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. I pray blessings on your day. Uh, Whatever it has in store for you, know that God is with you. Uh, Have a great day. Go wash your hands.